Hey guys, it's Rindy. I am here today with a lip service project pan update. This is update, what, number nine. Um, so September's update. And, well, let's just get started. So I have always wanted to have in here the lip scrub. And this one's pan is getting bigger as we go along. I've been, um, as it's getting to be more fall, I've needed to exfoliate more. Yes, it's getting to be fall because I live in Michigan. It was 50 some degrees today. It is fall weather. I wore a sweatshirt. Anyhow, so then I wanted to have a lip balm and this one I pulled out. I had been using the cherry chapstick in my Harry Potter pan and since that is gone I pulled out this and it is right here right now. I don't even have to roll this up because it's got no label on it. So I'm slowly using that. I've been working on and I had pulled this in my panning games as well but that is what this one looks like for my um, lip conditioner SPF and then I have my night balm and there's another one up on my nightstand so I'm not really going through these but it's you know still chilling still it's slowly getting smaller the one upstairs is probably getting getting smaller faster and I should bring that one down to show you but I never remember to get it off my nightstand before I do these videos. So I'm using one of these and two of these and there's still another in backup because that is my lip balm for overnight. Then I have, let me see, let's find the lipstick remover. This one is down to me ever so tiny bit like all the, all that is air bubble and this is the, you can see the product there. So I'm still getting down to like a very little bit in there and it will continue, I had an itchy nose, it will continue to get smaller as I do more of these lip products. Then the next thing is the CoverGirl lip balm and that is down to this little bit and I forgot to find this one or well, I should say I lost this in my car. It's apparently the summer of losing all the products. So this one I found on the floor in my car last week even, and it is down to here. I have gotten it past where my son had broken it off, and now I've got the ever so small little bit left to do. So that one is moving along nice, nicely. Then I had this lip gloss. Now you can see that there's still stuff in here kind of, but here's what happened. If you remember earlier, probably in my Disney pan update, I had a cold sore. So when I got the cold sore, you know, you shouldn't be using lip products because it'll continue to have it. So I decided to use this lip gloss while I had the cold sore and then once it healed up, just be done with it because I had so little left. So this is where this one ends. It is over and I'm, I think I did pretty good. Like you can't get that bottom stuff out. So that bottom part is just nothing in. I have, there was maybe two or three uses left in here and that's it. So I'm I'm happy with that. I had a lip gloss to wear while I still had that cold sore. When am I going to stop breaking out? So I thought that was lipstick, but no, that's another blemish. Look at this. At some point, at some point, can I stop breaking out like I'm a teenager? That would be wonderful. So then I had pulled four products out of my drawer for the month of August. And the first one was the Clinique Raspberry Glace. And this is like super old. And that is what that looks like. I've enjoyed using this a lot. So this will go back into my drawer for when I want a berry color like this. I then had painted, painted, oh goodness. I then had picked the Ofra Verona shade. And this one I used quite a few times. Actually, I've really been enjoying like the brownie nude colors with eye looks that I've been doing with the other shadows I've been panning because I worked really hard on my fire and ice shadows which were orange and yellow so then I pair it with this you know warm tone brownie nude and I really liked how that looked so this one came in very handy in the last month then the longwear matte lip gloss by beauty creations and this is in number 24 kiss me and this one I only wore once or twice which is crazy because this, if I have to look at all the colors I have out, this one is actually the my favorite of the four colors that I have in the project right now. And it's the one I wore the least. But I just haven't really done a lot of, like, looks that will go for the, the bright pink. You know, 
like I said, orange and yellow were the two main colors I was using. And then I have the colors that are in my little mini madness quad. So the bright pink really didn't go with many of the looks I was creating with shadows this month. So that one will go back into my inventory and I will eventually be using pinks and purples and stuff I feel like matches that way better. Now this is what I have on my lips today that's running everywhere because I didn't put on a lip liner. And I had asked in a previous video what people thought of it and everybody kind of gave me the feedback that it does look good. And I still am going back and forth on whether I like this on myself or not. So this is what it's down to. And this is the one I've been wearing the most. And my son smashed it in the cap. And all that good stuff. Good thing this was only from the Dollar Tree. And this is the, can you see the bubbles in there? That's, that's the gloss. So I've decided with this one, I'm still going back and forth on whether I like it. So you will be seeing this in a pan. If I pan it and get it out, then I won't have to keep doing this like back and forth thing in my brain and driving myself crazy. So this one will be in an upcoming pan soon. Keep your eyes out for it. But until then, why don't I do this fancy open the drawer and pick four more? Ha, I'm a poet. And see what we get for this month. So I got a handful. That's four in my hand. I have. This is Ofra. And this one came without it. This is purpley. And I don't know. Let me just, let me swatch it. Because this one came without a shade. And this was like the first one that I got from Ofra in BoxyCharm like a year ago now. So if anybody knows the name of this color, please tell me. But I have no idea what color it is. So that's, it's this purpley like... Oh, brownie ready purple. So then I got the Grande Lips Hydrating Lip Plumper and it doesn't really plump. It is this pretty, I don't know why I took the cap off. It's this pretty orange and this is like a silicone applicator and you, you push it like a clicky pen until the product comes out. And I really like it. It's really like, it's not very plumping, but it's super hydrating. So this will be great as we go into fall. Plus this pretty orange, that's so fall. At least for me. <laughs> then I have... So these two, they are a different color. One is 530 and one is 580 and they never write the colors on the bottom. So this one I call more like a pink, pink, bubblegum pink and this is more of a mauve purpley pink. So those two are the um, super matte 24 hour long lasting lip glosses from CoverGirl. And those will help me use up this guy even more and this guy even more. So those two are in here. So those are the four that I will be working on along with my balms and my everything else. And that is all I've got for lip service for you for this month. So I hope you will stick around and check out my updates. I hope you'll check out the updates of the other lovely, fantastic ladies in this collab. And until the next time, I will talk to you all later.